Welcome to another edition of Notebook TV. How many grams of sodium hydroxide will make a 500 milliliter solution of 0.25 mole solution? Well, the first thing we look at is 0.25. This is just a bunch of fractions. That's all they want you to do. We know that sodium is 23 oxygen 16, so we add them together and we get 40 grams if we had that Avogadro's number, you know, like one mole. Then we know there's like six trillion, you know, six times 10 to the 23 sodium hydroxide molecules. We would have 40 grams of material. Terrific. Okay. So if I had the one mole I would have that much. Well, they're telling me it's only a quarter of that amount, so I only need 10 grams. But wait a minute. It would normally be in an entire 500 milliliters. And we know that we usually put this amount, the 40 grams, into one liter. So instead of being 40 grams in one thousand milliliters. We need the same amount though, but in only 500 milliliters. Okay? Now, we've already told each other that we had to reduce this to 10 grams to get the 0 0.25 mole, right? We got the 0 0.25. So we had to take the 40 grams and reduce it because it's one quarter 0.25 of the full sort of strength, the full mole. So that's why we went from 40 down to 10 grams. Now, that would be in a full 100 milliliters. But wait a minute, we need 500 milliliters, not a thousand. So, what do we take it over to? We have to make it, cut it in half. Five grams would be the answer. Okay? Now, if they had done the molarity, sometimes you'll see molarity expressed in 100 milliliters. You know, how many grams per 100 milliliters? Then we would have to multiply it by 500, you know, five to get up to that amount. I'm dealing with this as if it was divided in 1,000 milliliters. Thank you.